Hey y'all, it's Andrew Server 1888 here with part 2 for the reptile entry for 2 and I'm a girl 2. Next, I'm going to be entering my amphibian, my African claw frog. He's about juvenile age, I believe, by the size. I had him about maybe 2 3 years now. He's just in a little fish bowl. I clean out the tank like literally every day. Um, I can't handle him because African clawed frogs need to stay in water basically all time. He'll suffocate if I handle him. So that's a big bummer right there. I'm going to try feeding him. I'm going to be free feeding him freeze dried crickets and some premium sticks, the ones I fed the turtles in the other video. For starters, let's go ahead and feed him those premium sticks. Oh, excuse him. Hi guys! Or Isaac. Whoa. Guess he's not hungry. <laughs> oh wait, no. No, he just ate. Back up. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he's eating. Hold up. Now I'm gonna get one cricket in there. Y'all ready to go bed? No, I have a bedtime story. It doesn't matter. Y'all aren't gonna stay up late. It's 11 o'clock already. Y'all stayed up late yesterday. Apparently he's not hungry. He's more sleepy. Cause like my mom said, it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> the thing came out. All right, that's not gonna work. Oh wait, no, he's eating. Stop it, see? The light. Hey, you know what? I saw him climb up on the tree the other day. I was sitting right here. And and I looked over there because I could hear... All right, like, he just ate, you know, as y'all saw. And, and that's all. All right, and now we're going to move over there. Now I went over there like, is he up there? And I walked up there. He was on top of the little tree thing. And that uh, is Gary, oh, yeah. African He's clawed frog. I used to think he was an albino for a second because I wasn't really good with that. My sister just got him for me. I really didn't want to get him. Uh, if, like, my sister just got him at the pet store for me, but he's really awesome. I got into him a lot. Now, the next uh, reptile I'm going to show you is going to be my two adult red eared sliders. One's a female, one's a male. Yeah. This one right here is Jennifer, red eared slider. And there uh, is Raphael, red eared slider. I'm gonna go grab the food. I'm just gonna give you food right there. Probably see the turtle. I got the little premium sticks. They all go crazy for this stuff. He's right there. Uh, I got a little bit more lighting. And I'm going to go ahead and feed him. I usually hand feed him. That's what I'm going to try to do right here. I want to. She, they're both denying it. Oh, but she sees it. Yeah, on a shelf. Um, I'm going to ha go ahead and explain to you the story of my turtles. The radio slider, the male Raphael. I got him at my local pet store, Petco, for about maybe 19.99 as well. And I got him about maybe five, six years ago. As for Jennifer, she was caught in the wild. But before you go thinking crap and about to write a nasty comment, listen to what I have to say. She was a rescue. My dad was fishing down at our local pond, and she f he found her on the little, like, muddy part. And she was covered in ants. 
and she was being eaten alive by ducks. My dad's allergic to ants, so he just tried to risk his own little thing there. And he was able to save her, and we kept her ever since. They're both about maybe five, six years old. And they have been eating the Reptiman Selective Food and Reptiman Premium Sticks. They really go crazy for this stuff. This is their little enclosure in their basking spot. It got really cold out there, so we just had to move them in here. And that's basically it for Raphael and Jennifer. I guess they just weren't hungry. Oh, but I'm going to go ahead and handle them. Yep, here you go. Oh, man, this guy's gotten bigger. <laughs> this is Raphael. You can tell he's a male by his long claws right there. And that he has a big, fat, long tail. Not very aggressive at all. He's very nice. Jennifer over here. Yeah, you can tell she's a female with the shorter claws and the tell tail. how we found here? Yep. Tell them how we found it. I did. What did you tell them? At the pond. Okay. As a baby, a newborn? Yep. Actually. Being attacked by Thank ducks. you. Yes, I did. And now I'm going to show you the Razorback in the common stink pot. You can go away now. I have it. Now, this tank is in my room. It's another 10 gallon with, uh, oh, lucky break. This is the light bulbs, both of these. 60 watt sun glow, humid. Got it from my local pet store. About maybe five, six dollars. This we already had back from our uh, old tank when Raphael and Jennifer were babies. And tank was also from Raphael and Jennifer, though. that was a lucky break. The only things we had to buy was the rocks to filter in that plant. And also the little lights. Um, the Razorback, uh, I got it from Nature's Coast Exotics. I mean, no, what am I saying? Kingsnake.com. He was an ad for $18. I got him because Razorbacks are very cool. I love musk turtles, and he looks so very, he looked very cute. And I've seen them, and they look exciting. They're also the perfect beginner turtle because they don't really grow that big. But this is it for part two because I just realized I'm running out of film. So I'll have to show you in part three. All right, catch you later. Bye.